This is a basic introduction to the conductor interface, and I just want to go through every step of the way that you would kind of set up a conference when using the conductor interface and go over some basic components of it. So the first thing the conductor interface is going to ask you to do is to set the microphone preferences for the callers entering the conference. And so you've got three options. You've got mute, breakout only, and public. Remember that breakout only is when you can only be heard in breakouts. So in the main room when people are entering, they're not going to be able to be heard. They're going to be basically on mute. They're only going to be heard when there's a breakout session. So since there's no breakout session initially in the conference, they're essentially going to be muted. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you have you know, trouble remembering it, remember all of the different you know, mute, breakout only, all of this is defined below. So you can just look below if you need to kind of remembering what they are. There's also entry tone settings, so you can have everyone have an entry tone, you can just have the staff, you can just have uh, there be an entryway, or you can have no one kind of have an entryway tone. So it's up to you how you want those entryway tones to work. You can also have a green room, so this enables a private breakout for the presenters and assistants of automatically entering into the call. So you can have a green room, you cannot have a green room. There's also this entryway, which disables a private breakout that participants will automatically enter when dialing into a call. So that's another thing that you can do. So a couple options here to keep in mind. So this all looks good. Why don't we go ahead and enter the call? So the first thing that we're going to want to do when we enter the call is decide if we need to have the music on or off. So this is hold music. So this is a personal preference. So if you want people to hear music kind of before the event starts, you can. And you can turn that on and off. And just something to note, if you are the only person in a conference, even if you have the music off, you will still hear the conference music. So don't be alarmed if you turn off the music and it's still playing. As soon as somebody else enters the conference, the mu whole music will stop. So something to pay attention to. Then you've got the settings icon. And what this does is it goes back to that entryway thing that we saw earlier. So if you want to change that, just go to settings. Finally, you've got end call. That ends the call for everyone. So you should not hit that button until you are totally ready to end the call. If we look at the next section below, we see that there is a one through five kind of poll view of how many hands are up and broadcast polling status, etc. So this is really for polling. So you can always conduct a poll no matter what kind of uh, view you're in in Maestro Conference. Obviously there's a poll view, but this will let you see how many hands are up, the percentages, as well as you'll be able to put all the hands down using this button. There's the breakout section, which we'll cover a little bit later on. There's audio cues that you can use for doing various things. So this is the low tone, which we'll play in a little bit. Oh, my sound's off. And then you've got the timer. And the timer is just a timer. It's not going to be anything where you can kind of hear uh, or hear something at the end of the timer. It's just going to flash red. So why don't we go ahead and do that and see how it flashes red when there's no time left. So that's something to keep in mind, uh, you know, when you've got the timer going, that it's just going to flash red. It's not going to have a cue, but it's good for internally kind of seeing what's going on. Then you've got staff chat. So if you've got assistants or other presenters, you can type here. So that's what it looks like for staff chat. You've got this middle section where it shows all callers, and you can select different people. So you can select everyone, presenters, assistants, participants, solo participants, etc. And that's just really easy to do. You can also select people using shift. Obviously, if you shift you know, and select shift, you can select multiple people. If you hit control, you can select individual people. Or you hit the Apple key, you can select individual people. You can also post a message that goes to the top of the social webinar. So this goes to the top of social webinar screen. And you can go ahead and post something there, and it'll indicate that it's been posted. Finally, on the right side, you can uh, see each individual. So in this case, if you highlight someone, you can change their microphone status from breakout to mute to public, uh, as well as you can see their hand position. You can put individual hands down if you want to. So if you know the hand is up, you can put it down. This uh, right side does individuals. Remember the left side down button does everyone. So it's important to keep that in mind. Uh, you also have the info tab, which is going to show email, custom one and custom two fields, if there is custom one and custom two fields. And the way that you would change that is 
you could just change that, you know, uh, by typing in there. So you can change custom one and custom two pretty quickly. You can also uh, copy selected callers. Uh, this, you know, lets you copy data to the clipboard. And then you can copy, you know, hands up position, or you can copy breakout or area code into custom one or custom two, uh, as well as you can, you know, pick which one you need to put it into and then commit. You've also got breakouts. This will just show you what breakouts are currently in. We're currently in the green room breakout, if you need to know. Finally, if you can move into breakouts, this section is to move into the main room. You can create a new breakout. You can create a private breakout, or you can go back into the green room if you want to. So a lot of different options you can do by selecting individuals and then moving them into different breakouts uh, as you need to. So that's the basics of the conductor interface. Uh, in another section, we'll talk about breakouts and get some more information about custom one and custom two.